But the secrets of God are revealed for a purpose and it's to help us, not to hinder us. Look at Mark 4, 21 and 23. Also he said to them, speaking of Jesus, Is a lamp brought to be put under a basket or under a bed? Is it not to be set on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden which will not be revealed, nor has anything been kept secret, but it should come to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Well, there's a lot said within these few verses. But one of the promises we have in that is there's nothing hidden that shall not be revealed. But you have to have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. That there's nothing kept secret that will not be revealed. Even in what is happening in the enemy's camp, those secrets can be revealed. You remember Elijah, whenever he was summoned to come to the king to tell them what they could expect to happen in this war. He told them what was being spoken in the chambers of the enemy's king of their plans of what they were going to do to attack. If our nation would only come to the place to where they realize the psychic is not the answer to our government's need for CIA. <laughs> you know, for years they paid $20 million into the psychics for insight. But they won't give prophets of God at the time of day. And of course, we have to realize that there have been a lot of people proclaiming to be prophets who have not really come forth bearing the very fruit. next chapter. John 16, 12, and 15. Now we've read this verse of scripture before in one of the previous lessons, but it's a powerful verse of scriptures. We need to read it again. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. This is Jesus speaking. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will give, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine, therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. Now one of the things we need to recognize, that the spirit of the truth, spirit of truth is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is truth. There's no lie in him. He can't speak the lie. The Holy Spirit is given to us to tell us the things to come. The Holy Spirit is here to teach us that our minds be renewed of those things that are spiritual. Because that which is spiritual, spiritual knowledge is much more powerful than any kind of education you can get. Spiritual knowledge is more powerful than the natural effects that are in this world. Because when you walk in the Spirit, you see things before they even manifest in the natural. How much greater is that? 2020 foresight is always better than 2020 hindsight. Amen. 